Hi guys, welcome back. Before I start the video, I want to point out a couple of things that I did by mistake because it's been a while since I've posted a video and I was a little rusty on my Stamping 101. Um, well, one thing that you'll see in the video is, <clears throat> sorry my allergies are bad, the stamper that I use was extremely sticky. It's one of those like super sticky stampers and if you stay till the end of the video you'll actually have a little bit of stamp head porn. <clears throat> Sorry. That was um, one of the issues that I had. Second issue was I didn't shake, shake my stamp and polish thoroughly. So in the beginning you're going to see a big clump of stamping nail polish on the plate. So there's nothing wrong with the plate. And number three was my scraping. Off the top of the list, those are the three things that I can think of that I could have done a little bit more smoothly. I'm not going to edit any of that so you'll see what I'm talking about and you can learn from my mistakes. Uh, towards the corner, because this is a square plate, I did struggle at first a little bit with the scraping. I would suggest, and what worked for me towards, you know, that part of the video, was scraping the corner sideways and only once. When I scraped it twice to kind of fix what I did wrong, I scraped off and there was ball patches. So please stay tuned, watch the full video, you'll see what I'm talking about. There was absolutely nothing wrong with this um, plate. It swatches beautifully. Uh, it's really adorable. I would highly suggest that you get it. It's a very cute. I did use different colors and different finishes so you can get a feel for the kind of manis that you can come up with and just sit back and relax. How many times can I say and? And enjoy the show. So here is the plate. It is BPX51. Absolutely adorable. My nails are stained from giving my fur baby her uh, medicine, so please excuse that. As usual, I clean my plate with pure acetone just to make sure that if there is any residue from removing the protective film is gone. I used a um, yellow stopper, the black stamper, and those swatches. Different ones just so you could uh, get a feel for the manis that you can create, which I already mentioned. So here I'm trying to decide which image I'm going to go for and that just came out all goopy. So I tried to pick it up and there was a no go. And I'm like, you doofus, I stole that from Gailene here on YouTube. She likes to say doofus. So anyway, um, I was like, well, you need to shake your polish. So. I am trying yet once again. And I had a much better pickup as you can see here. I decided to go with that um, foily nail polish because of the sunglasses that the kitties were wearing on that image. And I will provide pictures at the end. So please stay tuned for the pictures. So here is the corner image and I'm having trouble with it. I swept it twice. That was not a good idea. And I said, well, let me just swipe it once and change to a softer scraper usually works better for me. So that's the warm, pretty scraper. And it did better, but with the corner image, I struggled till I figured out okay do it lightly and just once. So
so because the lines on that image were thicker, I didn't struggle as much as uh, another one that you're going to see. And I thought that would look absolutely durable over a hollow. And no, not happy with that. So this is where I decided to do it sideways. The scraping, that is. And I did much better on that pickup. If it would focus. Yeah, see how pretty that is. Of course, I'm on a point and shoot facing down and it's not easy to be in focus, so I apologize when I do go out of focus. And I thought to do that middle image. It's just, isn't this just adorable? I mean, all the kitties are wonderful, but of course my landing was just <laughs> not the best. That was, I, I missed. I completely missed. I didn't stick to landing. And cleaning the bottom, like I mentioned. I will put pictures at the end because I do realize when you're working with white polish, it's harder to see what you're scraping. So how pretty is that? And as you can see there, I tried to clean it up with the card, but it didn't work. I had to, it, this stamper is so sticky, I had to use the lint roller. And I thought this would be adorable because this background was adorable. Um, so it could show the dress on the kitty. And as you can see me doing theirs sideways again, I did much better. Of course, having trouble on my camera focusing, but look at, those are like, I don't know, Persians, fluffy kitties, big kitties. I thought they would look cute over a red or pinkish base. So here I'm just showing you guys how absolutely sticky the stamper is. I, I wasn't kidding. It's super sticky. And I'm sorry if during the voiceover you can hear my fan. It's pretty warm in my room right now. So here is one last look at the plate. I will um, insert a template so you can get, get a better look at it. But there it is. I think that the problem was the uh, stamper that I was using was way too sticky. I hadn't shaken the white polish, the white stamping polish enough, which is why the green lower middle swatch came out that way. So um, there were just user error, nothing wrong with the plate at all. You guys can see right there. And I will include pictures at the end. Also, the way you scrape the corners, I found that scraping sideways was helpful and only scraping once. If you scrape more than once, you saw where I got bald patches. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. I would really appreciate it if you were to use my discount code in hopes that Born Pretty will host a giveaway. And also, um, so I'll hopefully receive can I how many times can I say hopefully and so that I will receive um, other goodies to review for you so here is a close-up of the swatches this is not easy um, doing it like this so I will include pictures at the end thank you for watching please use my discount code if you're going to buy and take care of yourself see you on the next video bye bye